You know, I happen to think, and I know I'm a little bit biased, that the SI Sportsman of the Year Award is the biggest individual award that you can earn in the course of a season. So when I look at 2014 and I think of October, I think of Bumgarner today. And 100 years from now, everyone will still think about Madison Bumgarner in 2014. The Giants, on the back of Madison Bumgarner, have won another World Series. You know, it's hard to really fathom because he makes it look so easy. Madison Bumgarner not only was the star of the 2014 playoffs and World Series, whoever was second was a distant second. To see a guy with that kind of a workload go out and perform, I don't think we'll see it again. He ultimately just put us on his back. The dominance that he had this entire postseason was amazing. If you wanted one pitcher to pitch a postseason game for you, who would it be? I think most people would now take Madison Bumgarner. You know, I don't love being in the, in the spotlight, um, but you know, this is uh, this truly is special, and it's something uh, to be proud of. You know, there's no doubt about it. One thing that stands out for me is he's such a genuinely humble person. What you see is what you get with him. You can tell by the way he carries himself. He's not looking to call that much attention to himself. Really, he just has this, this aura of confidence and it, and it leaks into you and he's just so calm. His demeanor is one that's unaffected by the stakes, by the spotlight. You know, if we were writing books back in the day and not being able to see the video, uh, he would be a Paul Bunyan type of character that you talk about. He's got the long hair and he's got the country drawl and, and he's a big, stout, young kid. You'd be saying this guy fell out of the sky like Thor or something. You know, I thought I knew Madison Bumgarner pretty well, but it really wasn't until I saw where he's from. Caldwell County, North Carolina, foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. And that's when I really understood what he's all about. You know, it's just a slow, easy life. There's not a whole lot of fast pace uh, living around here, which, you know, I enjoy that. I remember interviewing him during the series against the Cardinals. Give me your idea of a perfect day in the off season when baseball's over. He said, well, when the sun comes up or maybe a little bit before, I like to go out and feed the animals. That's Madison Bumgarner. You know, being out kind of away from, away from everything and slow things down a little bit, I think it's good, especially for, for a baseball player or an athlete in general. You know, I feel like, you know, the road that you go down uh, makes you who you are. And, you know, I've uh, been fortunate to, to go down a pretty good road. Bumgarner delivers. He got a ground ball to third. Pablo picks it up and throws it out. And that's the shutout for Bumgarner. Another masterpiece. You know, watching Madison Bumgarner pitch in the postseason, you knew immediately you were looking at the making of history. You can put him up there with Koufax, Gibson, Lefty Gomez as one of the greatest postseason pitchers in history. The only question was how long could he keep it up? The answer was the whole month. When it comes to that time of year, playoff baseball, there's enough energy and uh, the games are so intense that that's the last of your worries is being tired. Really, the one moment I thought when maybe the hair starts going up on your arms and the goosebumps start piling up on you is when you see him walk out of the bullpen in game seven in the fifth inning. Ned Yost and everybody in that ballpark knew that they were going to see Madison Bumgarner before that game was over. Last of the fifth and Madison Bumgarner has entered this game. When Bum comes in, you, you kind of feel, you feel it throughout the stadium, a sense of, uh -oh. Maybe not making these Royals fans too happy like Madison I think Bumgarner. the thought must have crept in the Royals' mind that we're not going to get our chance at anybody else. If we have to win the World Series, we have to get through Madison Bumgarner. And that was just something that was impossible in October. He was just not going to uh, accept defeat uh, any time he took the mound. I don't think any of us expected to come in and, and throw five innings and finish the game out, but fortunately it worked that way and uh, you know, just couldn't be more thankful for it. And the Giants have won. They have won the World Series for the third time in five years. And Madison Bumgarner has firmly etched his name on the all-time World Series record books. What Bumgarner did in Game 7 
put the ribbon around his entire October. Legends are made in October. And I think he became a legend, at least as far as the postseason goes, in 2014. It's the most humbling award that an athlete can win, in, in my opinion. It's crazy. I feel like uh, maybe you guys made a mistake. <laughs> so when you look back at 2014, you say, what happened that year? What was big in sports that year? That was the year that Madison Bumgarner owned October. That's why he's Sportsman of the Year.